Hi, this is Federico, and in this video, I'm going to answer a question that was submitted about connecting two separate names in this template, the Christmas tree ornament, and adding a custom shape in between, a heart in particular. So let's do it. Um, because we're modifying an existing Cuddle template, we want to hit the button at the top that says Edit in Cuddle, and that's going to show me a view of the Cuddle editor, and it's also going to show me this prompt that says Copy this project. And we want to do this because uh, by doing that, it's going to save a private copy of the project to your projects folder that where all the changes are going to be saved. So that's the starting point. So now we want to hit the front component. That's where the edits are going to be made. And um, the idea here is to uh, join two names together. And in order to do that, I just need to edit the text here. So I'm gonna, as an example, I'm going to join uh, Ava and Aiden. And I'm going to put some spaces in between them. I just did two spaces, so I get about that much. You know, two or three seems like it would work. And then the template auto adjusts. And so now I want to grab a heart. So there's a built-in heart shape. I'm going to search for it. I'm going to place it where I want it. Uh, change the size by changing the scaling. I want it to be big enough that it overlaps, but it's also readable. Uh, that seems about right. And then I'm just going to uh, nudge it with my arrow keys until I find a good spot. And that's the basic idea. Uh, now to finish it off, we just need to select everything and then apply the Boolean union modifier. So everything gets welded and uh, it cuts in a single line. So um, one slight downside of doing this is that then if I want to do more text edits, the heart might be in the wrong place. So for example, if I add Liz next to Mason. Initially, it seems like it's going to work, but if I add more spaces, then things are uh, slightly out of place. So uh, this is a sort of destructive editing, but we can um, we can always like go and fix it. So ideally, you would like get your names and then add the shapes that you want. But if I want to fix it, I can double click here, um, which goes into this kind of focus mode where I can edit the group and I can go ahead and move the heart. So I'm going to move it, the heart by hand. And I could even uh, duplicate it. I just, I just hit uh, Command-D or Control-D on Windows. And then I'm going to move my copy of the heart here next to those two. Maybe I'll add another space there. And then I put it where I want it. And um, I only need to click out of focus mode by clicking on the canvas. And because we applied the Boolean union, that is uh, going to be joined right there. Um, so that's how you would go about changing it. Let's do one more example just to get you a sense. So maybe Madison is with Ben. Um, once again, everything is, uh, is slightly out of place. I'm going to add another space there. So double click into it. So I can go ahead and like move the hearts. Oops, sorry. I didn't want to move that. I want to move the heart. I'm use my arrow keys. And then move this heart between these two and perhaps you want to incorporate another shape and that's that that that's going to work too so let's try a star and i can scale it so maybe madison and ben are joined by a star and yeah once i'm done because i already applied the boolean union I can click out of it um, so yeah, this is the basic idea. I think you can uh, go from there. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and keep those questions coming.